my system i use a bleach chlorinator so it's literally right in the top of this lid it'll have this little cover on it uh, you just pull that off and then you can unscrew this unscrew this cap right here and just go to dollar general or the dollar tree walmart uh, walmart uh, wherever it's convenient for you to get some cheap bleach you don't have to get anything fancy or expensive i put the cheapest stuff in here i usually buy this stuff from dollar general and keep a couple of gallons around the house and fill this thing completely full one of the questions i often get is well how often do i have to fill it and uh, my constant response to that is that is depend dependent upon your home's water usage so the more water you use if you've got uh, if you're a, at, at a house, uh, I grew up with all sisters, so if you had five girls in the house and one boy, you're going to be filling this thing all the time because girls use a lot of water. So if you're, if you're uh, a, a retired couple and it's just you and the wife and one dog and a cat, uh, probably going to be filling this thing up not very often. Not, you know, probably like every two months or something, maybe even every three, depending on your water usage. So you will have to set a timer I tell everybody to set a timer on their phone so once you fill it up the first time on a new system that you ever never used before every Monday or every Sunday or whatever's convenient for you if the alarm goes off on your phone you walk out and, and you check the level to see if it if the tank if it's still got any in there you can just shine your flashlight take a flashlight and shine it in there look down in there and then when it becomes empty then you'll start to get a rough guesstimate about how long it took it to get completely empty and how much fluid you're going to need to keep around the house on a regular basis to keep that full. Uh, I believe that holds roughly two and a half to three gallons on mine. Uh, the other ones that you'll see that uh, may or may not be my systems, I, every once in a while they run out of this, this style of chlorinator and then there'll be just a pipe right here off to the side. It's very similar. You fill it full of bleach and it runs through its cycle and takes care of that. Uh, some are tablets. I don't do tablets, but some of the older systems are tablets where you use chlorine tablets. Um, what I would suggest is uh, if you want to continue to use chlorine tablets, I know it's, they're more expensive, the tablets are, and if you wanted to switch over to uh, more of a chlorine style system like this, you could probably contact a septic installer and, and get one of these installed uh, for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and that might save you money over the long term of your system. But those are the basically the two easiest ways I know and the two most common forms of bleach slash chlorine systems that aerobic systems use on a regular basis. So I hope this helps you. Have a good day.